Well, as of today, the government is speeding up the timeline to order and deliver more doses of the monkeypox vaccine. However, with that supply still so low, providers have to change how they give those doses to try to reach more people. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live for us tonight in Raleigh with us. And Michael, health officials say that they still have a waiting list of people that they're trying to get through. Right, there's only one company producing this vaccine and significant demand for it all over the world. So now local health agencies are changing how they administer that vaccine in order to get access to more doses of it. Demand is high, supply is low, and now there's a new way to try to address the monkeypox outbreak. On Monday, more providers, including in Wake County, began giving the vaccine intradermally. That means it goes between layers of the skin instead of under the skin. Experts say a study showed you could use one-fifth of the dose using that method, potentially allowing providers to reach more people. Rebecca Kaufman is the preventative health director for Wake County. So we will definitely be able to open slots faster, especially knowing that we have the doses behind us. So you will see that list uh, going a little faster. On Monday, the federal government made about 1.8 million doses available to order for jurisdictions that adopt this method. Dr. David Wool, who's an infectious disease expert at UNC, says this method has its challenges. You need certain syringes and needles, and it takes training. The U.S. was initially slower to order doses than other countries, and only one company is producing the vaccine. The reason we're doing the one-fifth dose is because we do not have enough vaccine to vaccinate people. <laughs> Over the weekend, the federal government made additional doses from the strategic national stockpile available at Charlotte Pride. It's part of a pilot program to reach the LGBTQ plus community at large events. Nearly all cases so far are among men who have sex with men. Are we at the point that we still can contain the outbreak? I'm really heartened that we're not seeing a lot more people coming in right now with skin lesions that look like monkey pops. So I, I'm being cautiously optimistic that this may not be a very efficiently spreading virus right now. Dr. Wool also said there was a study in 2015 that found this method of administering the vaccine can indeed be effective. In his words, he says it's better than nothing, and he encouraged people who are eligible not to wait to get it. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.